Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. Today we're gonna compare two e-bikes that have 12,000 watts, and the only difference between those two e-bikes is the motor, 5T versus 4T. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. But the 4T can reach higher speeds and the 5T has better torque when standing. In lower feet. Yeah. So both of the C-Bikes are from Cyclone on E-Bike. It is the Venom Extreme configuration with a 150 amp controller. Both of them have 3500 watt hour battery and charge, charging time is about 4 hours from zero to full battery. Both of them have the same wheel size at 19 in the front, 18 inch in the rear, and both have the same Shinko tires. So theoretically, acceleration and top speed should be the same. Well, actually no, because this e-bike has a 5T winding QS205 motor, and this one has a 4T winding. There are also other options available like a 3T winding, a 6T winding, and I think soon there will be also a 4.5T and five and a half T winding. So whilst hub sinks, for example, help with efficiency and cooling the motor, for a heavier person, a 5T or a higher winding will be more efficient, as in at lower speeds is way cooler and has way more torque. And, and you want to have just a tiny bit more range, the 5T is for you, and if you want to push the motor always to the max when climbing and you just do off-roading and forest driving while well, the 60 with the lower top speed is for you or when you're heavier than 120 kilograms well the 60 is also suitable for these conditions so now we will show you what's the difference between 40 and 50 in real life But what about the acceleration on the road? And now we switch the bikes. Yeah, the 5T is a lot more fun. <laughs> you know or maybe it is a thing you didn't and I think that it's really important for manufacturers of electric vehicles to tell you what kind of motor you are using in your vehicle and here at Cyclone e-bike you can clearly select between various configurations to suit your needs 6T for the highest possible acceleration and biggest efficiency for hill climbing for heavier persons as well 5T is pretty much an optimum for acceleration, hill climbing and forest driving. 4T is the best for top speed, 3T for the highest possible top speed. So if you have any questions, please put them below and Cyclone e-bike or myself will answer. Let me know which motor will be the best for you. And remember that there is a 5% discount code for all Cyclone e-bike e-bikes with the wrong way discount code. From this Saturday we start with a new Christmas offer on our e-bikes and our e-bikes will be in a special Christmas discount. And if you want a ridiculous tire like this four inch wide that Mark will have on his future e-bike then you can get it but make sure you will have a 5T winding on your motor. Oh 60. And by the way it's more than a week more than a week has passed since our video about the controller and the closest person to the actual result was Adam RS6 and the right answer was 130 km per hour his answer was 120 km per hour and you will receive a free Cyclone e-bike shirt so please send me your um, shipping detail uh, on my mail uh, malek at cycloneebike.com and I will send you your free t-shirt from us and you need to know one more thing to the end of the year 
we will uh, present the new frame and new e-bike the Venom Mini just for your kids I think uh, that e-bike will be the best for kids from 10 to 15 years old a mix of 3k turbo motor 45 to 80 amps depends from configuration of the e-bike and if you're still here please leave a like on the video subscribe to see more content like this and I'll see you in the next video see you soon